I was asked, um, how do I install Chromium on FreeBSD? Well, it used to be easy. It's not so easy anymore. In this little video, I'll explain what you need to do at the present time to get a decent Chromium install. It may not actually be Chromium, it's Chromium-like, based on something based on Chromium, it might look like Chromium, taste like Chromium, even walk like Chromium, but it's not Chromium, uh, it's Chromium-like. Thank you. It was while I was attempting to install the latest Chromium on FreeBSD that I noticed something strange. Chromium had disappeared. In the packages, there was nowhere to be found. So looking in the ports, there it was. A ray of hope. Brilliant, I thought. So all I have to do is just change directory. Make config to see if there's anything I could change. It's all looking good so far. I'm going to leave it at the default. Make install and clean. And boom. Lots of security advisories. With multiple vulnerabilities. Wonderful. So it's not in packages. And I can't install it via ports. Well, that's the end of that journey. This video is finished. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, wait a minute. There is another. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. It's a browser named after the second densest metal on Earth. Well, not originally from Earth. It reportedly came down in a meteorite, possibly at the time of the extinction of the dinosaurs. And it's usually added to platinum when you're making jewelry. And the package that we're looking for is the Iridium browser. Iridium browser is based upon Chromium and well basically it, it adds a layer of security. Um, it will check to see whether or not your permissions for cookies and it also won't save to hard drive any of your browsing history. And we're going to give it a test. So we're just going to install it. And there we are. All done. It's going to go down to the menu and start it up. It should appear there now. So go to uh, internet, go down. Oh, that's an earlier version of Chromium that I installed. I'm really reluctant to, uh, to do uh, uninstall it at the moment. So there's Iridium. And if anyone is actually familiar with Chromium, it looks very familiar. Uh, usual right click. And there's your tabs. We'll have a look at the uh, preferences. Get new tab, new window, new incognito window, which um, is not something that I really use. And there's incognito mode, deletes cookies when closing the browser, and keeps browsing history empty. Uh, there's history, well, I've just installed it, so there's not going to be any history. Book bookmarks also empty. Print, cast if you've got a suitable device. Uh, which obviously uh, I haven't got one at the moment. Let's close that and down. Find uh, more tools. Hmm, okay. Edit, cut, copy and paste. Settings and about Iridium. We'll have a look at the settings. And yeah, again, it's all pretty standard. There's a lot of options for set the themes, font size. Use GDK if you want, but it doesn't work on this. And there's the version number. Version 2020-04. I think that's the latest version, actually, I'm not sure. Looking at uh, the information about Iridium, it's actually, um, apparently, it's backed by the Open, Open Source Business Alliance, which is uh, comprised of 190 members, which is quite impressive. And as you can see, it's automatically blocked, blocked the uh, the cookies there from the Google web page. I'm going to allow cookies on this uh, because I need to log in to, to get to a YouTube account. And you reload it after you make a change. Uh, 
And in the same vein, if you go to uh, YouTube, it's going to be blocked anyway. Uh, sign it to YouTube, I'll sign in later. And uh, before you continue, blah, blah, blah. And again, we'll just change that. Other sites I won't be so you know, eager to allow cookies, but for them too, I think I need to. Now we're going to test uh, the Redeem browser, and it's, this is, you know, for all the security buffs out there, this is not going to be a, an in-depth uh, test uh, from browser audit. I mean, that, you know, I, I will presume that they're reliable. But we're going to test against um, Firefox and Chromium. The Firefox is a slightly older build. It's not the latest one. I think it's just one, one uh, version behind. And Chromium is not the latest either because I couldn't get the latest to uh, install or build. So first we're going to run it on Firefox. And it passed 379, uh, 5 warnings and 20 skips. And yeah, okay. I mean, this is just a, an example of the uh, the problems that it, it thinks it's encountered. And to be honest, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. And remember that Iridium is meant to be more security focused. And again, this is probably a very unfair um, comparison. But you know, I'm not a security expert, so I've got to trust and. Uh, the website knows its thing. The second one we're going to use is Chromium. Uh, 374 passed with 10 uh, warnings and 20 skipped. And there's the Iridium going. And, ooh, well, that's interesting. Uh, we're using the default setup. Iridium has, well, it's not performed as well as Firefox. But what we're going to do, I'm going to allow uh, cookies and we're going to run the test again. And, okay, well, that's a little bit better. That kind of puts it, oh, it's exactly the same as default Chromium. Right. And there's the version of Firefox. And there's the version of Iridium, which you've already seen that. And there's the vo version of Chromium. So, yeah. Um, that's kind of uh, unexpected, really. You know. Thoughts on Iridium? It's based on Chromium. I'm not a great user of Chromium, and I couldn't tell you whether or not uh, choosing Iridium over Chromium would be better. I mean, it sounds better. There are improvements that they've made. And I suppose if you're a regular user of Chromium, then Iridium might be a better choice. Um, I would use it on this occasion because simply the... FreeBSD version of Chromium is not available, or it's not building, or the packages out there. So, as a kind of, if you must use Chromium, and you know, you might need to use it because of compatibility reasons with some websites or your machine, then Iridium would be uh, not a bad choice, not a bad alternative. I can't comment on the security aspects of it because, but well, I'm not a security expert on this. But if a the browser audit site uh, puts it on equal footing with Chromium itself, after you enable uh, cookies, then all's good. But with cookies disabled by default, it throws up some warning. So I think uh, I think in this case, it must be a good thing. It, I'm, I'm confused. But either way, uh, you can use Iridium on FreeBSD if, for whatever reason, after this video, Chromium is still not available. So if you must use it, load up and install Iridium. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.